this is where the alternator will be placed you can see the alternator will be placed somewhere here like this then we should welcome back so guys this is a 1000 watt alternator so if you check uh, this alternator very well you will notice it comes with um, four wires uh, it comes with um, two yellow and um, these other two wires so these two this one and these are for the output power why these two yellow ones are for the capacitor where the capacitor is going to store the charge uh, for it to be able to output 220 volts so you can see the shaft of this uh, alternator is still connected to it and uh, with the bulb earring and um, this bulb earring is going into this side crank case so this side crank case will be connected to it this way to be connected to it this way so that it's going to stand upright so that they are going to be connected on and um, here is the DC motor which we'll be using so this is a 12 volt DC motor let's see it this is a 12 volt DC motor you can see it 12 volts and um, it's around um, 1 to 2 horsepower motor which we'll be using to spin the alternator i've used this um dc motor to spin a 3000 watt alternator and it worked so it should be able to spin a 1000 watt um, alternator without any stress so guys this is our 12 volt battery uh which we'll be using to let's just use it to test um the dc motor and um, let's see um, how powerful it is so first of all uh, one of them will be connected to one of these wires you can see we have about three wires connected to the DC motor so the three wires one of them is for it to rotate uh, clockwise and the other one is to rotate anti-clockwise so we've connected one of them to the positive which is this one right here now we're going to connect the other one to this wire let's see um, how it's going to rotate okay okay i'm just going to use it to touch it since i'm using one hand you can see how powerful it is very powerful I have to even hold it down so that it doesn't um, start spinning away so guys that's what we're going to be using for it so guys I'm going to show you guys the casing I'm going to be using for the generator so guys this is the generator frame we're going to be using you can see the generator frame it's an old generator frame uh, we're going to find a way to make it look good and um, if you take a look at the front of the generator frame you notice I've already uh, connected a switch right here a on and off and uh, I was the one who connected this indicator so that uh, you can see it is written here recharge indicator so we'll be using this one to show that the battery is charging and um, you can see right now the place where the two plugs will be connected right now it's not there which is this so i got this one newly which will be connected uh, to this side here one will be connected here and the other one will be connected here and um, this will be our indicator this will be our indicator to show that um, the alternator is generating current and um, the way we're going to do it is that the alternator will be placed somewhere here the alternator will be placed somewhere here in the middle and um, 
we'll try to find a way to mount it somewhere here um, so that it would be able to work the way we want it to be you can see the frame so this is how the top of the frame is it's an old frame but we're going to try to spray it up we're going to try to remove the rust try to remove the rust and um, get it to be neat so you guys can remember i was using the first one i did uh we were using a wooden frame but this one we're going to be using uh, a generator high-end frame so this is where the alternator will be placed you can see the alternator will be placed somewhere here 